So we're here on the WIP tab, and you can see under the journal column, these are all in WIP status because of the W's here. And WIP means work in progress, which means these are all ready to be billed. The change status to time option under the action button allows us to change these to time. Right now with them in WIP status, changes cannot be made to these because they're already locked and ready to be billed. In order to make changes to these, so maybe one of your employees used the wrong work code when entering time, or if you just want to delete it altogether, if any changes need to be made at all, they need to be changed back to time. Then those changes can be made and they can be re-whipped or changed back to WIP status after, if you're not deleting them, of course. To perform this action, you just choose the line of WIP that you want to change, so let's say this one here, come back up to Actions, and then when I click Change Status to Time, you'll see that it will be removed from the WIP tab, it'll disappear from here, and it'll be moved over to the Time tab. So I'm going to go ahead and change status to time. You can see it was done successfully and it disappeared. If I come back to the time tab, it's right here. So now, if I wanted to make changes, like let's say I wanted to change the work code, or if I needed to add a couple of hours to this, some, really if any changes needed to be made to it, I could go to the time entry screen, make those changes, and then I could just re-whip it to prepare it to be billed. If I needed to delete it all together, like let's say that we just decided we were not going to bill the client for this because some kind of mistake was made, then I could just come here, go to my actions, and delete it using the instructions that are in the delete video here. And that's pretty much all there is to changing status to time.